You are being bombarded by devices, apps, and advertisements that are fighting for your attention. Notifications from sites like Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat are constantly demanding your focus, forcing your attention span to shorten and your focus to weaken. With the constant noise from all these digital distractions, it can be easy to forget the power of reading. Legendary investor Warren Buffett even reads up to six hours a day. I read five daily newspapers. I read a fair number of, of magazines. I read 10Ks. I read annual reports. And I read a lot of other things, too. So I, I, I've always enjoyed reading. While we continue to lean into our technology, especially with the coming impacts of artificial intelligence, it's important to remember that books provide more for us than we realize. So let's go over the seven reasons why reading a book a week can change your life in a tremendously positive way. The first reason reading is important is because reading helps improve your brain function. Reading books regularly helps to improve brain function in a variety of ways, such as concentration, decision-making, memory retention, and critical thinking. To be highly literate is, is an incredibly massive, massive advantage, practical advantage, you know, and it shouldn't be underestimated. Since reading engages different parts of the brain, it helps create stronger neural connections. According to a research study published in Neurology, reading regularly improves your memory function, similar to how a run helps improve your cardiovascular system. Regular reading can help as you get older by slowing the process of decline in memory and brain function. A major study of Americans aged 25 to 74 found that regardless of age, those who routinely did more to challenge their brains through such activities as reading did better on fluid intelligence tests than their counterparts. Dr. Zavin Kachaturian, senior science advisor to the Alzheimer's Association, says that brain-challenging activities build a reserve of neuronal connections. This means that by doing certain mental exercises, such as reading daily, it takes longer for the Alzheimer's process to destroy enough neurons for Alzheimer's symptoms to emerge. The second reason reading is important to incorporate into your day-to-day -day life is that it helps improve your vocabulary and communication skills. If the president were here, one of his greatest strengths is reading. That's one of the reasons why he's a good communicator, why he's such a good writer. He's a voracious reader. Unlike consuming other versions of media, such as scrolling TikTok, Reading forces your brain to focus and decode what you are actively consuming, which in turn helps grow your mind, your vocabulary, and your knowledge database. According to the National Library of Medicine, researchers have found that students who read books regularly, beginning at a young age, gradually develop large vocabularies. And vocabulary size can influence many areas of your life, from scores on standardized tests to college admissions and job opportunities. While this sounds unfair, it's unfortunately true. According to the University of Texas Arlington, when people lack the basic literacy skills needed to get by, this can cause unnecessary hardships in school, problems finding a job, and overall cause them to face inequality in their lives. Making sure you are well-read and literate can help you better understand the world and yourself. Reading helps us grow our language skills and can increase not only our communication skills, but our confidence in communicating with others as well. The third reason reading is essential is because it actually provides us with great stress relief. I take two weeks a year to just go off and read and think where I'm not interrupted by work or anything else. A 2009 study done by the University of Sussex found that individuals who had read for merely six minutes exhibited slower heart rates, less muscle tension, and reduced stress levels. Dr. David Lewis, the neuroscientist who conducted the study reported that reading is more than merely a distraction, but an active engaging of the imagination as the words on the printed page stimulate your creativity and cause you to enter what is essentially an altered state of consciousness. The study also found that reading is more effective than drinking a cup of tea, playing video games, and listening to music when it comes to alleviating stress. Not only does reading provide a great escape from reality, it also was found to slow down heart rate and even relax muscles. These physical reactions make reading similar to meditation, which is another way commonly used to relieve stress. The reason reading helps us reduce stress so well is because it allows our brains to relieve focus from the stressor and instead brings us to a place that completely takes us out of our regular day-to-day -day activities. 
The fourth reason that you should read every day is that reading books helps expand your knowledge. There is a wealth of information to be found in books, fiction, and nonfiction. Some of the most successful people in the world credit their success with reading. You can grow and discover and make connections that you might not otherwise have made just by the simple act of picking up and opening a book. But I, I encourage people to read a lot of books. Basically, try to ingest as much information as you can. I got my first job in radio when I was 16 years old, but my first job I got because I was a great reader. Between winning championships and MVP awards, LeBron James reads as a way of relaxation. By reading a wide variety of books or even deep diving into a specific topic that you find interesting, this helps you become more knowledgeable and helps you find things that really spark your interest. The fifth reason that reading books can change your life is one that people may not expect. You well know that what you consume in your formative years becomes a large part of who you are as realized adults. Canadian psychologists Raymond A. Marr, Keith Oatley, and Jordan Peterson conducted a study in 2009 explaining how they believed there was a link between people's empathy levels and their reading habits. To see if this was a possibility, they conducted a study where they showcased different genres of books, fiction, and nonfiction, presented a list of authors to the subjects, and asked them a variety of questions in regards to their empathy levels. Through their findings, they were able to conclude that their subjects who read fiction seemed to have a higher level of empathy towards other people. The old saying, don't judge a person until you walk a mile in their shoes, is a great way to explain how books, especially fiction, makes you look through the eyes of different characters and go through their triumphs and hardships alongside them. By being exposed to different worldviews and perspectives, fiction prompts us to experience the characters, feelings, experiences, and emotions. By being able to be more empathetic in our day-to-day -day life, this can help us grow our professional and personal relationships for the better. The sixth reason that reading is a great habit to get into is because not only does it expand your mind, but it also improves your sleep. You set aside a bit of time every day to read, and for me it was always just before I went to bed. I'd go to bed, turn on the light, and read for, oh, when I was a kid, for hours. Since reading provides such an excellent way for you to relieve stress, this helps relax your body and helps you fall asleep faster. Our devices do the opposite of this. According to Harvard Health, the blue light actually stops our bodies from secreting melatonin, the hormone that helps us sleep and actually interrupts our circadian rhythm, making it near impossible to fall asleep after being on your phone or similar devices. Unlike our devices and the blue light they emit, reading books helps promote relaxation and calmness, helping our brain get ready for rest faster. According to a trial called The Reading Trial, published by the National Library of Medicine, 42% of the people who read a book before bed felt their sleep improved. So next time you feel restless or that you just can't get to sleep, pick up a book and try reading until you feel tired. The final reason that reading books help improve your life is because it can help improve your focus immensely. Unlike other forms of entertainment like having TV on in the background or listening to a podcast on a run, reading requires 100% of your focus. By making sure you focus on what you are reading, you are working out your brain and making it stronger than it was before, therefore strengthening your concentration and focus. Many successful people are known for their insatiable love for reading and learning. People like Mindy Kaling, Jeff Bezos, Emma Watson, and Oprah all credit their love for reading to part of the reason they're successful. So if being successful is on your to-do list, make sure to take time to grab a book, settle in, and happy reading.